Welcome to this mellow flow to help relieve some piriformis pain, but a great class for releasing tension in the hips, whether you have pain in the piriformis muscle or not. Two blocks near the top end of your mat could be useful. We'll start lying down, come onto your back. Bring your knees in towards you. And then widen the knees and just hold on to whatever you can reach there, ankles or shins and rock gently side to side with the knees nice and wide. And either stay there with that or start to bring the shins a bit more vertical, feet towards the sky and possibly reaching up for the outside edges of the feet if that's accessible for you. And just rocking a few more times there, either way. Hmm. Just tuning into what you can feel a little bit more, then becoming more aware of your body in this moment in time. All right, from here, let's roll all the way over to one side. So I'm gonna come onto my right side. And just prop your head up. Bend the knees, stack the knees, stack the ankles. Hug your belly in a little bit so you feel a lengthening through your low back. Keep that. Slowly lift the top leg up, keep it parallel to the floor, and then drop it back down. Top leg up and down. Keep going. Tendency here can be to lift the leg too high or to lift the knee higher than the ankle. We're trying to keep the knee and the ankle in line. And not to come too high there. You could rest your top hand just on that kind of back pocket area. That's the muscle that you should feel working. In this class, we're finding a balance between strengthening some key muscles and releasing others. That will overall help to relieve tension on the piriformis and relieve any pain that might be occurring there. Relax. Keep the ankle down, just lift the knee and down. Notice how that has changed. Maybe you can just follow that a bit further around the back of the hip there. Using some more muscles, deeper ones now. That sometimes get overlooked. The bigger muscles start to do more work than they should. The smaller muscles forget to do their job. And that's when things go out of balance. That's when pain starts to occur. Relax. Straighten out the lower leg. Come more onto your back and that top knee can cross all the way over. Just relax. Nice, gentle, easy twist. Letting that top knee drape towards the floor. That's not just thing what you can feel now. If you do have pain in the piriformis or suffering with piriformis pain syndrome, take things easy, see how you go. Nothing should be painful and it's a good idea to check with your doctor first. Nice big breath in and out. And then slowly we'll switch to the other side. So. <clears throat> All right, so stack in the knees, stack in the ankles, cinch the belly in, lengthen the tailbone. And this first one, just lifting that top leg about parallel to the floor. Probably not as high as you think you should. <laughs> and you can lie down a little bit closer towards the floor. You can even rest your head on the floor, actually. Again, feeling that back pocket area muscle doing some work. It's gluteus medius in there. Good, and then relax. Slide the hand around a little bit further towards the center of your butt, and then we're just lifting the knee. Maybe it's harder or easier on one side than the other. 
noticing things like that. And if there is a big difference, you could do a little bit more on one side. You know, when you're doing this in your own time, these are great simple exercises that you can do anytime to help strengthen these smaller but very important stabilizing muscles. So important for the health of our hips. Relax. So come on to your back. We're going to straighten out that lower leg, cross over the top knee. And just take a nice few deep full breaths. Extra nice long breath in. And you can fly it out. And then, okay, so rocking or rolling to come all the way up and onto your hands and knees. <clears throat> Push the floor away with your hands. Cinch in a little bit through your belly so you feel kind of nice and long in the spine. Then send the right leg back. Exhale, knee under, out to the side and kick the foot back. Bring the knee back in, under and back away from you. So we keep going. Knee under, knee out, foot back. Knee towards elbow, under and back. Keep switching directions here, but nothing else really moves. So try not to look back at your foot because <laughs> we want to keep the spine as long as we can. And here we're connecting the hip strength, the glute strength we need to support our hips with some core strength here. Using those external hip rotators that surround piriformis, taking the load off of it, finishing up there, slide the hips back. And then, second side, hands and knees, and the other leg back. Just checking in that you're, you feel nice and centered, knee under, out to the side, kick the foot back. Knee towards elbow, under, kick the foot back. Finding your own rhythm, not too slow, not too fast, just moving with control. If we go too quickly, we start to kind of sway and move a bit too much through the body. It becomes less effective. Keep pressing the floor away. You might also feel the other hip working. Stabilizing. Good, last one here. Knee down, sink the hips back. And then hands and knees, tuck the toes, hover the knees, and then hips up and back. And you might want to slide the feet back an inch or two to come to your downward facing dog, really press into the hands. Bend the knees a little bit, lengthen out the spine. Start to straighten the legs a bit at a time if that feels good just now. So let's take the right leg up into the air and hug that knee underneath, roll forwards, bring the right foot up to the top, drop the back knee down, bring the hands to your hips, roll the shoulders back and bring the hips back, reach the arms up. So I want you to actively hug the right hip back. So hips are above the back knee. That should feel active. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to your dog, knees to the floor, lift the chest. Exhale, hips back towards the heels. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale again, hips up and away. Back to our dog. Let's take the left leg up and back behind. Exhale, knee under. Roll forward, bring the left foot to the top. Back knee comes down. Bring the hands to your hips in this low lunge. Now pull the belly back, hips back, and inhale, reach up. So spine is lengthening down. Left hip is hugging back. And exhale, release hands to the floor. Sit back to your dog. Forwards, knees down. 
inhale, lift the chest and the tailbone. Exhale, start to round and sink the hips back. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, into your dog. Take the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee under, right foot to the top and give it a hand if you need. Draw the back knee down. Hands to the hips. The hips are sinking slightly. Now pull belly back, hips back. Press the front foot down. Imagine you want to pull that front foot back towards you. So we feel the legs working, the hips working, the core engaged. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands down. Down dog. Onto the knees. Breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, hips back. Hands and knees. Down dog. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left foot to the top. Back knee down, hands to the hips. Pull everything back again. Spine lengthens down, belly hugs in. Front foot, press it down and oh, imagine you want to pull it down the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Downward facing dog. Float to the knees. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, sink the hips back. Hands and knees, downward facing dog. Looking forwards and just walking easily, feet up towards the hands, folding there. Hands to the thighs, just come halfway up. Inhale all the way up and reach. Hands to your heart, bend the knees. Lift your right heel up. Set your gaze somewhere forwards and down. Carefully, let's cross right leg over the left one. Doesn't have to wrap all the way around, but let's drop down a little bit lower. Come back the way you came. Set the right foot back, hands to the floor. Back knee comes down, hands to the hips. Inhale, reach as you hug the hips back like we did before. And exhale, hands down. Widen the front foot out to the side. This is where the blocks could be useful. Sort of raising the height of the ground a little bit there. Start to drop the hips. Lift the back knee. Just breathing fully the whole time. Now hands to the floor. Sweep the left leg up and back. Bring it back underneath and we're coming towards a pigeon. So left knee towards left wrist. Carefully lower the shin. Left foot is gonna be somewhere near right hip. Wiggle the back knee back. Inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, walking forwards onto the forearms. Just taking a few breaths here, hug the left hip back. Keep hugging it back. So not relaxing completely in this pose. Walk the hands back in. Tuck the back toes, lift the front leg and downward facing dog. Walking the feet back up towards the top end of the mat. Folding there. Hands to the thighs to come halfway up. And inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart, bend the knees. Lift the left heel. Slowly cross the left leg over the right one. And then back the way you came. Left toes go back, hands to the floor. Knee down, hands to the hips. Hug everything back, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Widen the front foot, hands on the inside. Our low lizard. Lift the back knee. And then hands to the floor. Now you can wiggle this foot over into pigeon from here, but I prefer to sweep that leg up and back and then come forwards again, bring the knee towards the wrist and the ankle towards the opposite hip, carefully lowering down, taking the back knee back, roll the shoulders back a breath in and then exhale, coming forwards onto the forearms. 
So we'll hug the right hip back. This should be working active if you feel it. When we have pain in, in the back of the hips, in muscles like the piriformis, we can't just be stretching. We can actually risk irritating it there. We have to do some strength and stability work to rebalance, address the, the cause of why that pain is occurring. And then walking yourself back up. Press the hands down, lift that front hip, shin. <laughs> Step the foot back, downward facing dog. And then forwards into plank. Drop the knees, slowly lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, cobra. And exhale, hips back towards the heels. And just pausing there, you might like to take the knees nice and wide. You can rest the forehead down. And just taking a few long breaths here, direct the breath back into the back of the hips. Just noticing that strength and release that we found. Visualizing those small muscles in there, actually taking your attention to them each time you do this practice knowing that there is a way to relieve all tension or pain when we take focused attention to those places. Discovering how to hmm, address the balance. And then whenever you're ready, stay there as long as you like, but rolling up. And roll the shoulders back a few times.